All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. We are back with another video today. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a Fortnite clan thumbnail. I'm showing you guys step-by-step step how to make it in Pixlr, which is a completely free software. If you guys are new here, Pixlr is absolutely free. You don't need to download anything. All you need to do is go to the Pixlr website and just follow the steps that I show you guys. And I will give you guys all the images as well for this thumbnail as well. But I just haven't done a Fortnite clan video in specific in a really long time. And I know like the clan setup videos always do super well on YouTube. So I'll show you guys how to make one for yourselves, customized to your guys' clan. Now, the only thing you guys will need for yourselves for this tutorial is actually your own clan logo but i would assume that if you guys own a clan or an esports team you guys should have your own logo already it should be like the first thing that you guys do if you like make one you know in my case i'm gonna be using my old team's logo as you guys know i used to own a team called team cloaks super long time ago but i'm gonna be using that logo today in this tutorial and you guys can just substitute it for your logo but if i go to my desktop as you guys can see here i have all of the assets and it will be a top link in the top of the description for a Google Drive if you guys want to download um, this screen overlay which you guys are going to need and you guys are also going to need this PNG as well and then I'll show you guys how to make everything else you guys see in the thumbnail in Pixlr but before we get too far into today's video if you guys haven't already gone ahead and hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel please make sure to go ahead and do so also if you guys want to check out my last video I did a complete logo tutorial on Pixlr if you guys want to go check that out and make a logo before you guys come to this video I would highly highly recommend but I think that's enough babbling for the beginning of this video let's go ahead and just jump into this tutorial all right so first First, make sure you download all of the assets in the Google Drive in the description and then make sure you just drag them to your desktop or to a familiar folder but we are in Pixlr as you guys can see here I have it right here but we're gonna go to create new and we're gonna go to 1280 by 720 now this is basically like the standard size for a YouTube thumbnail now this tutorial is actually gonna be really easy so I'm kind of I'm gonna kind of fly through this tutorial if you guys need to rewind it feel free to or if you guys need to slow down the playback speed feel free to do that as well but we're gonna start off by hitting layer as you guys know add image as layer and I'm going to find all of those images here here it is I actually have named this 96 I don't know why but we're gonna hit edit free transform and I'm going to drag this thing down oops I want to no. I want to add edit free transform and I want to make sure I hold shift while I drag this down so it doesn't deform it at all and as you guys can see here, the top of this render is cut off. Now, I can't take credit for making this renders, although I have made some of the other renders in my previous videos. But whoever made this render, I have a bunch of them on my computer, uh, like didn't cut it off right. So this top is going to have to line up with the top of the screen. And we're going to drag it just big enough. And then I'm going to kind of drag it this way a bit. Kind of like that. As you guys can see here, everything is looking pretty nice. Now, the first thing we're going to do, as always, is click on our render. Click on adjustment brightness and contrast and give it that contrast that it so desperately needs we're going to click apply it's already looking better now for the background you guys can choose whatever color you guys want now personally i'm going to hide this top layer personally i just did like a gray background so i'm just going to click on this color down here i'm just going to go to like a gray and then i'm going to go to the draw tool and i'm going to drag the size up a bunch and i'm just going to paint this back a nice gray color because it kind of just matches the theme and I think it's very subtle and now that we got that brushed in make sure the opacity by the way is at 100 whatever color we put in and just make the brush size pretty large anywhere from like 200 to 300 go back to the suck tool now we're gonna unhide make sure that layer is visible and I'm going to lock the bottom layer because we do not need to mess with that layer at all now what I'm gonna focus on first before we get into like the border or like some of the ad added effects I'm gonna focus on getting that back screen to what you guys want now if you guys want to like get a screenshot of like the youtube page of your like fortnite clan or your fortnite team or like your fortnite page you guys can like get a screenshot and you can put it over like the green screen now that's going to be a little bit complicated i think for a lot of you guys so i'm going to show you guys how to like make that green white and then how to just like add your logo over it kind of like if it had like an esports background on the monitor so to start off i'm going to click on this png right here i'm going to zoom in a tad with my scroll wheel I'm gonna scroll up a tad here. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab again this polygonal lasso tool that I showed you guys in the last tutorial and is in some of my other ones. And remember this polygonal lasso tool is key because you click each time you wanna make a point. As you can see, if I click again, it makes another point. And if I click again, it makes another point. And then if I click back to where I started, it creates a selection. So I'm gonna click select and deselect. 
So I'm gonna click on the corner right here and I'm gonna zoom in pretty far for this just so I get it pretty accurately. But I'm gonna click on the corner of the green and now what I'm doing here is I'm literally just cutting out the green from this picture in general. Now, whenever I need to go down, I can still drag down while having this selection tool open. And I'm gonna click here, keep clicking over here. Now you wanna get this as close as you can to the border without having any of that green sticking out. Drag this up a bit here. And we're gonna go around the like hair and everything, of course. Just clicking every time. We wanna create a little point here. Click, 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 click. Now there may be an easier way you guys see to like cut this out, but to get like a, a nice cutout and to get it to look nice, this is gonna be the best way. Maybe a tad tedious to you guys, but we are almost done anyway. And as you guys can see, we are back to the start and we're gonna click on the start and we have the selection. Now, if I zoom out and I click switch colors so it's on white and I go to the draw tool, I can just draw this entire thing in white and go to select and deselect. Now we're gonna do the same thing for this right side over here, I'm probably just going to speed it up and do like a little time lapse of me doing this green over here and then I'll catch you guys when I'm done. All right, so as you guys can see, we have both of the monitors here covered in a nice white, and it looks pretty nice too. The hair looks like it's cut out very well. Now, what we actually need to do here is go ahead and just add the logo. We're gonna hit layer, add image as layer, and you guys are gonna find your logo. I should be able to find mine fairly quick right here. There it is, we're gonna double click, and I'm gonna grab my logo, and I'm going to make it a bit smaller, and I'm going to slap it right in the middle of the desktop right here I think it maybe a little bit smaller so it kind of fits in and we're gonna put it right about there now what we're actually gonna do here is I'm gonna take this PNG and I actually have it where I want it and I'm not gonna do anything else with this PNG anymore either so we're gonna take this PNG render that we've been working on and we're gonna go to this little triple dot on the left side and we're gonna click merge down now this is actually merged with the background layer like the gray as well so I'm gonna unlock that layer as well. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create that border that you guys see in the thumbnail. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna again go to the polygonal lasso and I'm gonna start here in the corner and I'm gonna give myself that little triangle to be able to actually, I'm not, I'm gonna select, I'm gonna deselect. I'm gonna give myself a little bit more space for my logo in the corner. And we're gonna go like this and then we're just gonna kind of go around the edge of the screen and we're gonna be adding little spikes here cat not right now and we're gonna go around the edge here and just kind of as make it as you guys see in the thumbnail adding little spikes add that and we're gonna add a couple more here and then we're gonna click on the outside right here now that we have all of it kind of outlined and we're gonna click again in the corner click again in the corner on the outside click again click again and then once we get back to the start as you guys can see it creates that selection right around it and it looks pretty nice we're gonna make sure again we have the color on white down here the top one we're gonna go to the brush tool and we're gonna do the same thing that we did before make sure we are clicked on that merged layer from before and we're just gonna color it in like we did before super easy and simple and it gives us a very unique background that you guys don't see on other people's because a lot of other people just use templates. And we're gonna put select to deselect. Now I'm gonna take that logo that I had before. I'm gonna go to the three dots and I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna go to the selection tool. Ooh, don't wanna move that. I'm gonna make sure I'm grabbed on the logo and I'm going to straighten it out a bit. And I'm gonna slap her right in the corner. Now, if you guys want to be done here, you guys can be. All you need to do right now is add your text. 
and you guys can just put uh, and to put like setup tour like this or you guys can you know put like uh, whatever it is your team you know team cloaks tour or anything like that you know you guys can do your text however you guys want to um, just drag the font bigger if you guys want to make it bigger or smaller I don't really need that layer, but I'm gonna show you guys how to add that, like the dots in the background, how to make it overlay and everything like that. So to finish this off, I'm gonna go layer, add image as layer, and I'm gonna go to the other um, overlay that I actually add, actually the only overlay I added to the pack to download in the description, but this is what it looks like. And as you guys can see, we're going to fix the black background, obviously, um, in this PNG, but we're gonna drag it down first, and now we're gonna do the magic. We're gonna click on the three dots, Click on blend mode and we're gonna do screen. And as you guys can see, it gets rid of that black. Now I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to put it right in the corner, right about here. And you guys can mess with like transparency and how, how much you guys want it to stick out and everything like that. But I'm gonna duplicate that layer and I'm gonna take the other corner. I'm gonna drag this one underneath the um, logo, this logo right here. And I'm just going to kind of do the same thing as I did with the other one on this one. Cause I think it looks pretty clean. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Rotate it and I'm gonna put it in the corner. Now what you guys can also do is go to the polygonal lasso and make sure you're clicked on that dots. And we can actually like cut it out and give it the effect that the PC is like in front of it and the monitors. So we can kind of take it like that and go around and we just go backspace, select, deselect, and then it kind of gives you that look like it's behind and then this one's like in front, which I think looks pretty good. And from here, make sure you add the text or whatever you want. Click file, save, make sure it's 1280 by 720, which is like the thumbnail like template. Then we're just gonna name it like Fortnite clan setup. Oh, if I can spell clan setup thumbnail. And then all you have to do is make sure it's on high, drag it 200%, make sure it's on .jpg, which is a JPEG. Then we're gonna click download, and it's gonna come up down here. And then I usually just click show in folder and I drag it to my desktop. And then you guys are good to go to go ahead and use this on your clan YouTube channel. If you guys have any questions about this video, make sure to go ahead and leave it in the description below. As well as that, if you guys could hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel, it really helped me out a ton. I do tons of tutorials on the channel, whether it's YouTube banners, um, YouTube thumbnails, Twitter headers, just basically any designs like that on Pixlr. So just subscribe and turn the notification bell on. If you guys wanna be notified when every single one of my tutorials and other videos do go live again i appreciate you guys wa for watching this video i'll catch you guys in the next video on the channel thank you for watching peace